All right, we're on Pine Grove Road and we're about to take a left onto Stoddard. Okay, there's a uh, the little fire department there, so that's a pretty good landmark. Tough to miss the, the turn to Stoddard. Okay, so now we're on Stoddard. We're headed uh, toward the property. We're actually really close. Let me take a look at my map. I'm using the MapRite app, although I have been here a couple times. Uh, I don't know if I've ever really looked at this particular property. This is a large one. This is certainly one of the largest we've had uh, by the Lake of the Ozarks. So I'm excited to get out here and um, see it on foot. And also we've got the drone today, so we'll do a drone video and we'll post that in the listing as well. So we don't go too far on Stoddard, and now we're going to veer left. We veered left onto the gravel. This says that this is Sandy Drive. And we're actually not gonna go too far and we'll see the property on the left side of the road. It's got a ton of frontage on this gravel road here. Kind of a cool old barn on the right. We are extremely, extremely close to the Lake of the Ozarks. In fact, the north part of this property um, is basically at, well, we're including the uh, the lake lot we got on the Lake of the Ozarks. So actually you have direct lake frontage on the Lake of the Ozarks. So that's pretty amazing. Whoops, I've talked and talked and we already got to the property. It's on the left. Okay, I'll, I'll back up just a little bit. We bought this a year or two ago. We had it basically leased out to a guy. Um, and it seems to me that there was some kind of marker here at the corner. Oh, there we go. There's a T-post right there. And that is going to be about the southeast corner of the property. So everything you see on the left side of the road. What we'll do is uh, we'll drive the, the road frontage and then I'll stop somewhere and uh, we'll do the drone video as well and we'll post that to the listing. I do not have the topo map with me today, but this part uh, by the road appears to be fairly level. I know it's got some open areas. I, I did walk part of this property once because I walked down to see if there was water in the little creek bed and there actually was some water flowing in it. So now as we look to the left we've got a bit of an open area there and if you walk back uh, just a couple hundred feet to the west uh, there's a really cool uh, natural glade area um, with some limestone and, and uh, the natural grasses and stuff it's really pretty neat. So all the tracks we got out here were, were logged uh, uh, within the last three or four years, I guess. And this parcel was logged. It certainly wasn't clear cut. You can see there's quite a bit of, of timber remaining that we can see. And check out the drone video, of course, to see more of that. You're gonna have dozens of potential building sites. Um, I mean, just, just beautiful. There's kind of a natural opening there. If you look back now to the west, you can actually see that little glade area a little bit. Um, that's really pretty. And there is a, at least uh, one trail that goes toward the middle of the property because we walked roughly toward the center um, when we got the property. Now, when you're talking about areas um, at the Lake of the Ozarks and other lakes, um, so this road that goes right is the official road, and the property sits to the left of that. This road that goes left was a road that was put in years after the, the first roads were platted out. Um, so it actually doesn't necessarily show up on the maps, this Rise Branch Road. It cuts uh, through the property. So if we were to go left onto Rise Branch, it would be on both sides of the road. We're actually going to, I think what we'll do 
is we'll, we'll begin with staying to the right and then maybe we'll come back up that way. So as we stay to the right, the land is on the left side of the road and we're headed down toward the lake now. I mean, yeah, yeah, you want to talk about phenomenal building sites. Uh, there are some spots here where you just have a sweeping view of the lake, some spots where you've got a, a view of Golden Goose Cove. Uh, if it were fall or winter, there's the cove right down there. We'd be staring right at the water. Um, but with these tens of thousands of little trees, it's pretty tough to see. Again, the land is still on the left. And there's the cove down there. So here on this northeast portion of the property, this is kind of a, a more or less a thin strip. We'll go down to the end and we'll double back and uh, we'll be able to look at the, uh, the lakefront um, lake lot that basically adjoins the property or is directly across or however you want to put that. But yeah, that's Golden Goose Cove. Uh, that is an awesome cove. It's got the uh, uh, Brown Bend conservation access right there, which is great. Okay, that's a pretty tight turn, so we're gonna have to do a, I guess I got three point turn here. So let's do this, okay. So we actually started, um, we actually started here on, on Pine Cove Road. We went left onto Stoddard. We went left onto Sandy's, Sandy's Road. You'll see multiple other uh, tracks on this map. They're not necessarily available tracks. They just happen to be on this base map. Uh, and this is the property here that we're looking at. So this is where the road frontage began. Uh, we drove, we drove, we drove. About here is where we saw that other road that goes off to the left, which really isn't even shown on this map. But we stayed to the right, we went down, there's the cove, and now we're headed back on the other side of this, uh, this little strip here. We're headed back. So now the property is on the left, but it does border this road as well. I personally really like Golden Goose Cove when, when we uh, have our vacations up here. Uh, we rent a, a house actually really close to here on the lake and Golden Goose Cove is one of the places we come and we hang out and um, I mean it's great. It's got a beautiful uh, public access boat launch which is completely free. It's got a fishing pier. I mean you could spend all day at the Brown Bend boat launch uh, and have a great time just doing that. Actually, there it is, right across there. That's the Brown Bend uh, boat launch on the other side of the cove. So by road, that's not far at all. And like I say, it's got a fishing pier, it's got a little miniature walking trail, it's got all kinds of good stuff. Power and phone, obviously, you can see are directly on the property. Uh, I'm trying to check on this. So the, the lake lots themselves, or the lake lot, Here we go. I mean, you can see it, it definitely slopes down off of this road. Uh, but I mean, that's that's how everybody's lake lot is here. And most other people have just built uh, a style of home that accommodates that. So whether you wanted to put a, a home down there or uh, just a dock, or maybe, you know, just a set of stairs, so you can easily walk down there and fish. That'd be up to you. But here's some, some nearby houses, and you can see they've got the same topography uh, that you have on their lake lots. So they've got steps going down, they've got their boat dock, and then obviously they, they uh, uh, moved some dirt and, and uh, built there. Anything on the Lake of the Ozarks is amazing. So the fact that we've got these um, attached to this huge acreage is awesome. 
I, th I don't know what I would do if I were to, to build on this. I would more than likely build a home a little further up for the view, but I would sure put a dock here and put some steps down. And then you could leave your boat. Uh, everybody could come down and fish on the dock because I mean, you, there's a, actually quite a bit of lakefront on these lots. I'm not gonna walk down there and, and back up again, but, and you are directly across from the Brown Bin boat launch. I mean, look at that. So yeah, pretty awesome. This short video ended up being uh, pretty lengthy and we are not done yet. Okay. Oops, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you just have endless options on this property. I've never seen anything like it. And to have the direct frontage on the lake is, uh, is phenomenal. So property is still on the left. And this is gonna curve back in and probably intersect uh, with that other road that didn't really show up on the map. I'm sure it'll be on some maps. Okay, so that's that road. Uh, if we go left, we'll back to the top. If we go right, we go down toward the bottom area. Let's go. And the cove itself, which is fun to see, so definitely definitely do that but yeah I mean you've you've got options of, of building basically right on the water back up a little bit to have some view way back up if you want the sweeping view of the lake I uh, just have never seen a property with so many options so as we drive up this hill the lands actually on both sides oh and here's a little trail I've never seen this is on the property this grass grown up, I'm not sure how far I want to pull in. <laughs> it definitely has not been mowed uh, for quite a while up here. Whoops. Got to be super careful because you don't know where there may be a stump hiding. Here's where we are on the property. The blue dot indicates where we are. So we're, we're on the north end somewhere. you're likely to find quite a few trails uh, on a property this size. I see deer prints everywhere. I'd love to spend all day out here, but really we need to do the drone video as well. So I'm just gonna walk back to the truck here. I was about to hop back in the truck and then I just got too curious to see where this trail leads. It obviously hasn't been been used um, for quite some time. It cuts to the right and that area needs to be mowed but looks like a fairly large flat area. And then actually off to the left here And this could be um, just a campsite from the, the family that was using the property. I see up in the distance what looks like a, uh, a water container. So we'll just walk up there and check that out. Like I said before, on a big, big track like this, um, you're gonna find a lot of different trails, a lot of different sites so many deer and turkey up here it's it's amazing <clears throat> excuse me okay so this was obviously somebody's campsite at, at some point nice view looking westerly over there 
They've got an old water container. Oh, this is kind of cool. Someone had started work on some type of little patio. I don't think they completed it. This goes back up. This maybe leads to this, the, uh, um, I'm trying to say the glade area. That's very possible. Yeah, this was definitely somebody's campsite. And they started a little structure. So that's a freebie. That's all yours. There actually could be some good... good. That's good lumber right there, but could be some usable stuff here. You see, we haven't placed any restrictions at all on this property. Uh, this area of Camden County uh, just has standard zoning. So you can talk to the the zoning department for any questions but um, it's not overly restrictive it, it's like any any area in the country we can certainly help with any questions you you might have about that this is private man wow and I have no idea where that road goes like I said maybe it goes up to the glade maybe we'll be able to check it out when we do the drone video Okay, I'll head back to the truck. All right, so back on the road. Uh, that's the little trail that we now know leads to kind of a cool uh, building site. A few hundred feet back in there, super private. But we're gonna head back up more toward the middle or, or south side of the road frontage. So now the property, of course, is on the right. There's that road that we cut down that we, that we uh, took when we went down the hill. Cut to the right on that. So now we're kind of back up. Uh, we've already seen this area, but that's okay. I think what we'll do is we'll stop right about here. Maybe a little further up. I want to be by that um, natural glade area because that's really cool. And we'll just park the truck and we'll do a drone video. And we'll check this baby out. Very large property right at the Lake of the Ozarks. Extremely rare. Extremely rare. There we go. Super pretty. I'm going to get turned around so we're facing the lake. And we will do this fun little drone video. And we'll try to keep that short, but we also tried to keep the ground video short. And it ended up being one of the longest ones that we've done in quite some time. There we go. Okay. So instantacres.com. Um, yeah, I, we could talk forever about this one. This is a very, very unique property.